everyone i've got the new sky q two terabyte uhd hdr box and this replaces my uh, two terabyte silver box that was 4k verified but it wasn't hdr verified because at the time of having it five years ago sky wasn't a participator in hdr format so i had to upgrade and pay the 50 pound upgrade charge now it wasn't smooth sailing obviously you see my unboxing video that the that box there actually under closer inspection had um scratches and scuff marks and basically some kind of weird residue underneath it i don't know what it was i didn't really want to touch it um and uh so i called up sky and they sent out a well after basically confirming that it was reconditioned they said it was supposed to be a brand new one but it's reconditioned they sent out a brand new one and then that brand new one wouldn't work with the satellite feed it basically was a dead box it couldn't pick up any satellite signal so i then had to call up sky again and then they sent me out a third box that's the third replacement and in total of since joining sky i have now had in the space of a few days had four different boxes so yeah but i can't complain how quick they are to send out a replacement that's you know five stars there uh depending on how many stars you want to give <laughs> <laughs> i say five for the replacement but in terms of actually hardware for reliability and actually what they've been supplying me with i give them two so first of all you want to do is obviously pair your sky q box up because it's going to be a brand new box it won't be it won't be paired to your uh, your card if you're in car so you need to pair that up to set that up you also want to make sure that you've got the latest software version when this one came to me it had q120 and i had to manually update that by pressing setup and then forcing the update and that is a very important update because if it's not updated go to the sky cinema ultra hd hdr um films and you go on to all formats you only have three formats you only have ultra hd hd and standard definition you will not have the width hdr so you need to make sure that you do that if you're missing that and you're wondering what well, it should have uhd hdr and if it doesn't have that that means your box isn't supporting the hdr function fully funny enough though on your apps your netflix will be unaffected and your disney plus will be unaffected by the hdr update but at the moment it's not working so i'm just going to go to netflix this is, again this is, these are teething issues with the box sometimes reliability My bad, I went into someone else's profile. That's me here, YouTube. I just don't like using my real name sometimes. I feel like because I'm on YouTube, it's, you know, I'm basically overcrowding myself. <laughs> and so you want to... That doesn't make any sense, I know. I don't know why I said it. Sometimes you just say stupid things. <laughs> don't quite know why um so we want to find something that's got hdr on it um normally netflix's originals would have hdr functions uh let's find something that i definitely know as a hdr Sure, that one does. Yep, yeah, that one does. So if I click on the thing and then click on the great thing about Netflix is you can click the eye. There you go. It says HDR right there. You turn it on. That Netflix doesn't work with the HDR function until you do that update as well because I think there's more of a tie-in with Sky with them. 
see that almost gone to uh, 2160p let me do the 4k there we are oh, we're at 4h um, sorry we're at 4k and then the information screen is increasing it should cap out normally about 15 megabytes per second there we are 15 megabytes per second this is a demo so don't get thinking that you're going to be able to see a whole movie courtesy of me Okay, so that's that includes that. So that works, and I just want to see if the Disney Plus now works. Oh yeah, that now works. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Sorry, this app is currently unavailable. Um, okay, that's good to know. So let's just go back to the Sky Cinema and let's download um, a, a film. We go to one there and watch. See how quick it does to download the film so I can watch it. Okay, that was quick because it's wired. And it now stay in the corner, yep, there you go. 30, 80, um, 38, 40, times 21, 60, and then, yeah. Switches back, this is, you see, that's the thing with the, the Sky Q, if it's not running, yeah, see there, with the HDR, HLG. Um, if it's not running HDR, formatted uh, program it won't output HDR all the time it doesn't convert standard program into HDR format so if you're thinking that that's gonna you're gonna be very disappointed it works exactly like the Xbox it will only run HDR if the box if the the um, the program it's running actually supports HDR so in your settings you really want, uh, like I said, make sure that that's Q140, otherwise that will not work. Some people have actually messaged me saying I can't get the UHD to work. Um, yeah, sorry, the UHD HDR to work. Well, that's the reason why, because your software is probably not up to, up to date if you've got the correct box. And, yeah, so it's going to go to preferences. Oh, yeah, also, when you get the box, you're going to have to change your resolution to 2160p because it'd be defaulted to 1080i and depending on your box if you don't know what it is you click on the actual thing and it says here find it for me i know my 